And I did about six or seven months of flying practice. You know, being harnessed, and um, I would have to lay flat and hold my body there for like a couple minutes so I can so I can get the strength in my back to hold my body, to hold my feet up in the air so they don't come down. It was really hard because Peter Pan is a perfect flyer. His body is perfectly straight, and um, it's really hard to do. Well, we started the kids out in order to help teach them to fly better using uh, uh, trampolines and other gymnastic equipment to get them used to their bodies in the air. We put spotting rigs on them and have them do front flips and back flips and start to be more accustomed to uh, what it felt like to be as free flying as you can. These things we did to try and teach them, here's what it feels to really fly. Now we're going to put you in rigs and you have to recapture that feeling. It's actually very difficult to ride this rig. It's based on a, on a spinning belt scenario that allows them to spin freely and it spins so freely that it's really hard to control and if uh, they, they don't do the training there's no way they could handle themselves. It takes a, a lot of training. They teach me how to fly and they have guys that hang onto the rope and I'm over here and I run and I jump on the trampoline and I just fly back and forth. I come up stop on the wall. It is quite hard and you need lots of back muscles to be able to support yourself to make yourself horizontal because the picks are at your hips and so your natural position is up, vertical, and then you've got to push yourself forwards and that can be really, really quite hard at times. Action! There's up, down, left, right, full rotation, backwards and forwards. So it's not easy. <laughs> The bad thing about flying is it hurts a lot. It's pretty hard to fly. But if I'm going to fly, it's better if I just move because then if I'm moving around at a good speed, then I can just sort of hold myself there. Well, the harness work is quite hard. Yeah, you've got to master the balance techniques. I'm flying and I'm also in pain. Sometimes you're just go going straight and then you put your arms out in front of you to do something. Thank you! And you just flip straight over because you lose your balance. So it's it's hard to learn all the balancing techniques. Yeah. you got to learn how to float and you got to learn how to go like this. Um, from standing up to doing that without going and flip. you got to learn how to do flips so in case you have to do a flip. Obviously, you're being lifted in the air by something. They're on blue screen. We have what we uh, lovingly refer to as the blueberries for the guys dressed in the blue suits that run around and try and grab them here, turn them there, lift them just like so until we get them all in the perfect position. This is difficult enough if you're dealing with grown-ups. Now, if you're dealing with trying to get four or five kids exactly positioned and flying perfectly in one shot, that's a challenge. <laughs> It's like conducting a, a symphony, you know? Everybody's got to be hitting their marks at exactly the right time. It's very difficult.